Well, we've been doing game-based learning for about 10 years now, and so we, we discovered that the teachers really loved having this game-infused education, but they weren't very good at implementing it because it was so vastly different than the traditional teaching methods. We decided to help them by doing professional development in our 3D worlds. And it occurred to us, wow, you know, these games aren't just good for students. These games are really powerful learning for teachers. There's points at which what we want to do is help teachers use games in their classroom, and there's points at which we want to use games to help them become better teachers, and that's what we're trying to do with the Quest to Teach project. We're seeing games used a lot more now in the K-12 setting, and we know that our teachers, when they enter the classroom, need to know not just how to play games, but how to use games as a tool for teaching and learning. And so that's some of the work we've been doing at the Sanford Inspire program in partnership with Quest to Teach and the Center for Games and Impact to really think about how can we provide these really innovative learning experiences during a teacher's preparation program so that they have these skills when they enter the field. A modern teacher preparation program needs to include the central core idea that teachers are in classrooms to impact the lives of children and their families. And so we want to make sure that at our college, we're providing those kind of experiences that really smart and sophisticated people will want to have because we know that's going to make them even more prepared to be successful when they go out into schools. Video games create very good learning. You could also say they create very good teaching uh, and that we should bring that form of learning and teaching to school. We are that bridge between the content area experts and the game design studio to make sure that they're both speaking the same languages, that certain learning principles are in place. We had a big group of people um, that were literacy experts um, all share their ideas about what could a video game about literacy look like. So what we do is we have them go in and they take on the role of an educator in the field and they're called in to solve some sort of dilemma and also to teach some kind of construct. But whatever it is, it's a process that they need to engage in and they typically would do that in the field but by doing it first in this virtual area we're able to mediate that theory and practice and make them feel more confident when they go into the field. Well game-based learning is particularly well suited for teacher education because it's a course-based theoretical approach, but those theories need to be translated into practice. We don't want to use the game to do everything. That was what we did with textbooks. One thing for everything, it doesn't work very well. So we're hoping to develop a suite of games that will be as appropriate for in-service teachers as they will be for pre-service teachers. We want, more than anything, the goal is to make them lifelong learners. We want them to learn that to be a good teacher means to be a good learner, to set challenges and to constantly set new challenges and higher standards for yourself and achieve those. So by doing that, we're going to open new trajectories for new experiences that will go from pre-surface education into first year teaching, second year teaching, professional development, lifelong learning. So what were your experiences kind of coming in um, with the background about conferencing and your feelings about your, your confidence and skills versus being engaged in the video game. Before was more so guiding the student to, to the answer of what they can do right uh, versus after playing the video game, it was more so like having the student think about what they can do right and instead of just giving them the answer. I just appreciated the fact that like there, it was just safe. Like you felt like you could make mistakes because it wasn't that big of a deal. Because we were able to see what we did wrong and then talk about why it was wrong so we could figure out what was right. The video game and the simulation of becoming a teacher and taking on that identity um, was so powerful that I would not have been able to do that without the video game. But it's not truly an add-on. It's really changing the way that we think about education.